Hey there, Dallas, Fort Worth. It is a new year and I have new data. In this month's real estate market update, in addition to the month over month sales numbers that you're used to seeing from me, we are gonna talk about how the start of this year compares with the start of last year. And if we can expect a better 2024 than we saw in 2023. I will explain why we have seen interest rates go up when everyone told us at the end of last year they were gonna go down. And then I'll tell you when we might see them go down again. We will talk about Fannie Mae's surprising interest rate prediction along with a look at how DFW compares to the nation when it comes to affordability. And be sure to stay tuned through the end where I will bring up some of the upcoming big economic reports you should pay attention to and how those will affect interest rates. All right, let's get to it. First, how does the start of this year compare to the start of last year? In our market, January is typically the lowest month of the year. It consistently ranks as the lowest for prices and number of sales. The question all us realtors want to know, along with anyone looking to buy or sell this year is, will 2024 be better than 2023? The reason we want to know is because 2023 was pretty rough for the industry. We had not seen sales numbers that low since 1995. Home sales were down 19% from the year before, and that's after it dropped 18% in the number of sales from 2021 to 2022. Now, how many homes should we be selling every year? Well, we typically saw about 5.5 million sales every year in the five years before the pandemic. So with only four 4.09 million sales last year, we are about 26% off of normal trends. Some argue the reason we had so few sales is because there just wasn't enough inventory. Now, I'm not sure who performed that poll or who responded to that poll or where that poll is published, but my anecdotal evidence from representing buyers in this market is that so much of the decision came down to interest rates. We can also look at mortgage application data to see that applications were down. If it were truly an inventory issue, then we would still see a low time time on market. In April of 2021, we saw a median time on market of six days. That's what you see when there's little inventory. Now we're seeing a median time on market of 36 days. Okay, so we still haven't answered the question, will this year be better? It looks like it. And by my calculation, we could see a 10% growth in sales in January alone. Here's how I came up with that number. I took a look at the past four years of data to see what pending home data looked like in December, and then compared that to the actual sales in January. Since pending data is a leading indicator of sales, this seemed like a logical first place to start. So in December of 2019, we had 7,363 pendings. In January of 2020, we had 7,144 sales, so a 97% close rate. Then in December of 20, we had 8,732 pendings, and then in January of 21, 7,951 sales, so a 91% close rate. Then in December of 21, 8,945 pendings, January of 22, 8,149 sales, so another 91% close rate. Then in December of 2022, we had 6,191 pendings, did you notice that big drop there? Yeah, is big. In January of 23, we had 5,794 sales, so a 94% close rate. Over those four years, it comes out to an average close rate of 93.25%. Now, if I use that same percentage and apply it to the number of pending sales we had in December of 23, which was 6,908 pending sales, that means we could see 6,441 sales in January. So notice that our pending data was up year over year by 11.5%. That in itself is a sign we're doing better. And that's with slightly higher interest rates in December of 23 than we had in December of 22. In December of 2022, weekly average mortgage rates ranged from 6.27% up to 6.49%. In December of 23, that range was from 6.61 to 7.03. Now, this is just a wild guess on my part, but I think we have some buyer fatigue to blame. This is the group of buyers who have been holding out for better rates, but have just simply grown tired of waiting and they are accepting current rates as the new normal. So not only does my estimate show that we could have a 10% increase in year over year sales in January, but with interest rates predicted to go down this year, albeit we're not sure when, but I have some thoughts, so stay tuned, and buyers ready to get on with their lives, I think we will likely see more sales this year than we saw last year. As far as pricing goes, I think we are going to see those seasonal fluctuations that we're used to seeing where they rise in the spring and summer months and start to come down in the fall and winter months. Now, as far as how much prices will go up, well, according to Fannie Mae's Home Price Expectation Survey, they're predicting we'll see prices go up 2.4% in 24. 
However, that is a national average. The National Association of Realtors took a look at the 100 largest U.S. metros and identified Dallas-Fort Worth as being the second top market with the most pent-up housing demand. If that is true, I think we could see prices appreciate more than that 2.4% in Dallas-Fort Worth this year. So again, will this year be better than last year? Well, let's see. More sales, price appreciation. Yeah, I think it's going to be a better year. Next topic, why have rates gone up lately when it was predicted they'd go down? Well, you should go back and watch my 2024 real estate market predictions video to get a full explanation on how the mortgage markets look at interest rates. But the quick overview is that the mortgage markets react in advance. If it looks like the Fed is gonna drop the federal funds rate, well, they'll go ahead and drop mortgage rates in anticipation of what's predicted to happen in the future. And yeah, the Fed indicated that we were gonna get some rate cuts this year. That was all well and good, but then CPI data came out hotter than expected, which means the economy did not cool down as much as everyone thought it would. Oh, and then we had a jobs report come out that was also higher than what was expected. So all this good economic news actually made the mortgage markets react and go, hey, maybe we're not slowing down fast enough for the soft landing that the Fed is looking for, and rates won't start going down anytime soon. Better bring those mortgage rates back up a little bit until the economy cools off a little more. That's my mortgage market's voice. So rates have gone up a little bit because the economy is still just a little too hot. But the good news is rates are still under 7% at the recording of this video, which is great. Now, as far as when we might actually see rates go down, well, it's likely going to be sometime in the summer or even later at this point. And a few months ago, I would have told you they would start going down in the spring or maybe even a little earlier. But I think the Fed wants to see some consistent, softer economic reports before they feel like they can relax on their monetary policy. That's what I think, but what about the experts? Well, Fannie Mae just put out a surprising interest rate prediction. Fannie Mae is the Federal National Mortgage Association. They are a leading provider of mortgage financing in the United States, so they know some stuff about mortgages. They predict mortgage rates to decline in 2024 and in the year below 6%. I'm dubious. I mean, it would be really nice and I'll take it, but a lot of dominoes have to fall just perfectly for us to hit that goal. And the economy has to slow down a lot. Now, while going through all of this news and the reports that have come out recently, there was a little tidbit that struck me as interesting. The National Association of Realtors reported that for December, the median sales price for a home in the U.S. was $382,600, but the median price for a home in DFW was $365,000. That means we are affordable. Even after all the increases in home prices, even after this population surge we've been having, we are still affordable. So again, back to this pent-up demand and attractiveness of our Metroplex, I think it is quite possible we'll see a better market this year. Okay, so how did our market actually perform in December? Let's take a look at the numbers. The median sales price, like I said, was $365,000. That was a 1.3% increase from a year ago. New listings went down month over month, but up 13.9% year over year. There were 8,380 new listings to hit the market last month. The overall number of homes for sale went down again month over month to 27,984 homes. That is a 2% increase from the same time last year. We had an uptick of close sales in December, month over month to 7,653 sales, but it was down 7.2% year over year. Our months of inventory dropped month over month, and we now have three months of inventory. The median time on market before going under contract is up to 36 days. That's higher than in November when the median was 29 days, and it's up from December of 2022 when the median time on market was 34 days. Our median sales price per square foot for DFW is up 1.1% from last year and is at $187 a square foot. The median amount homes are selling for as a percentage of the original asking price went down again. Homes are now selling at 95.9% .9 of the original asking price. The takeaway, this spring could be an improvement from last spring with more buyers and more sellers in the market. The good news for buyers is there will still be negotiating room on pricing and repairs for most listings. The good news for sellers is there should be an uptick in traffic to get your listing sold faster. We are already seeing buyer activity increase when we look at mortgage application data. At the recording of this video, they are up 10.4% from the previous week. 
And by the way, we have some big economic reports releasing after the recording of this video. The advanced estimate of the fourth quarter and year 2023 GDP report will be announced. We will get a report on new residential sales to see if sales of new single family houses are up or down. And a big number we are watching, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index. This allows us to see how the economy is performing month to month. This is also what the Fed likes to look at when gauging inflation. The estimates are that there will be a growth of 0.2% month over month and then 3% for the year. Anything higher than that will signal to the Fed that the economy just is not cooling as much as they anticipated. And that does not bode well for any decrease in the federal funds rate anytime soon. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can see how these reports affect the market in February and what they will likely mean for interest rates in the short term. And hey there, if we have not met yet, I am Jennifer Shannon. I am a realtor and broker associate with Keller Williams. If you are looking to buy a house anywhere in the DFW Metroplex, my team and I want to be your real estate resource of choice. So if you're looking for a guide or for someone to help you with the process, or if you think you will have any real estate needs in 2024, we can help. Simply reach out by phone or text to 214-803-4444 or send me an email to jshannon at kw.com. Well, Dallas, Fort Worth, that is all I have for this month's update. I look forward to updating you next month on all that is happening right here in our real estate market. And if you like being in the know about what is happening in the real estate market of Dallas, Fort Worth, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you next time. Bye.